Hey guys, it's Henry again. Um, I'm gonna try to make you guys some more videos on the daily because I'm I got so much work that I can be putting out and showing you guys, giving you guys some advice. So I got my son's help today. So we'll see if we can keep this going for the next video and the next video. Today we have a 2010, it's a Kia Sorento. Kia Sorento. So it's like the mid SUV type vehicle. And, uh, this SUV, they called me because their door lock as um, like the title says, uh, the door lock was that was installed in it, the factory one, would not unlock the vehicle. Or more or less it was stuck. It was stuck in the kind of like in between lock and unlock position. So just like that, that was the angle that it's in. And, uh, and the customer would put their key in and turn it to the right and it would sometimes unlock the vehicle. They couldn't lock it at all with the key they would have to lock it from the inside but sometimes it'll unlock on its own uh, so long story short i came out and i took off the plastic cover that goes here and it was actually kind of loose already but this is the plastic cover and it has an indentation here and it has like a little clip here that seems to see it's already i don't know if i broke it or it was already partially broke I like to think it was already partially broke, but the fact of the matter is this piece goes, make sure it's unlocked. This piece goes right on the outside of this door, okay? This is the factory door lock assembly, and this piece goes here. So it grabs on by the front face of this, assembly and on the back it has a little clip so i think the easiest way to i think it's really an uh, uh, inevitable to take this off without breaking it i mean i mean you're lucky if you don't break it to be honest because the way this thing is made it's plastic so if you guys do happen to break this you guys can pick it up at the dealership like 25 bucks okay so I'll get to the point so door lock doesn't open customer was having problems unlocking it you'll come around on this side and you'll find yourself a 10 millimeter bolt okay once you take off that bolt you'll have to you know at the same time of of loosening it up uh push in on that bolt so that way it pushes the assembly out and uh see i'm already having problems taking it out take it out and i just set it on there so just to show you how easy it is to give to have a hard time so like i said loosen up that 10 millimeter bolt and push on it press on it and it'll help you guide this out so i took this down to a locksmith and he right away he told me he couldn't repair it so i took it upon my own hands and kind of got a visual inspection of it what i found was this lock assembly has an opening at the bottom well the the longer i got a chance to look at it here pay attention to the camera is it the longer i got a chance to look at it the longer the faster i realized that the copper pins that are in there i think they're copper or there's at least one or two missing in there and this isn't even supposed to be like that look like somebody might have stuck a screwdriver in there and and spun it uh maybe tried stealing the car or tried getting into it at least and they spun it and they and they broke this this housing here and the and and they and it pretty much drove it in this angle that that this piece here so uh let me compare it to the new one this is the new one from kia okay i'll get you a part number here in a second and you can see the difference Right, not to mention this one's worn out, but this one has the assembly piece right in the middle, right, the bridge, and this one, it's bent out of place. So it's identically the same. The only thing is if when you get it from the dealer, 
um, it comes with a new set of keys, okay? So let me get you a part number. This is the genuine part from Kia, and this is the part number 81970-1UA00, okay? Lock assembly door, left-hand side. So anyhow, guys, uh, this was just a quick breakdown of what I'm doing uh, at this moment, uh, dealing with. So I'm sure after I install this, everything's gonna be good. I'll come back with a, another clip here in a second after I've installed it, okay? Uh, matter of fact, keep it rolling. Let, let's, let's go ahead and install this now. So we'll grab the new one and I can show you how easy that key goes in, right? The new key. So we'll hold on to the new key and we'll set the new assembly in there as such. And uh, and then we will, let's try to see if we can get this plastic cover put on. I'm not sure how, see that little piece fell off. But uh, so if you come around, see if I can get it to work. So come around and I pull on this door handle, you'll be able to drop this plastic piece in. Okay, like I said, it, it looks aluminum or metal, but it's not, guys. It's plastic. And so that's in there. And then this is just going to be torqued down um, to hand tighten it. Don't do it too hard. You'll get a feel for it. Um, so that's already on there. Get the little plastic cover put on. And voila. That's on there. It's perfectly straight now. And this is the new key. Now I can lock it. And unlock it. Okay. That's it guys. And one last thing. There's a little rubber piece here that might give you guys some problems. See, when I let go of the door handle, it doesn't close all the way. Well, that's because this little rubber piece is giving me issues. So I might run a blade to it just so I can knock some of that off and it can close properly. Uh, but that's about it, guys. I appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And hopefully I can put out more content here in the near future. Okay, thank you guys.